welcome to the Shilpa Shari channel and this is the art of loving food. So, my passion for food has now been extended into the F&B arena with me investing in my favorite restaurant without any bias, Bastion. Bastion according to me is one of those few restaurants today that not only promises a delicious healthy menu but they do it with a modern twist it is one of those few places that even has vegan and gluten-free options and the man behind all of this is one of the most celebrated chefs in our country who modernizes traditional cooking and it's so fun you have to meet him so introducing to you chef kelvin chang yay Congratulations to us! Congratulations to us! Yeah, and a double congratulations to us because today we have crossed a million subscribers! Yeah! <laughs> On YouTube! Thank you guys! So this is our celebration too. So today Chef Kelvin is going to present to you one of his signature dishes and it's called Kung Pao Chicken. Over to you. Thank you. So what we're going to show you is a super quick, super easy and healthy dish. We start off, we're going to saute our chicken and again keep in mind we always keep cooking things till they're just enough. So keeping in mind, especially when you're cooking chicken, you cook it till it's just cooked, maintaining all the nutrition inside. You know, I don't know why, especially we Indians, we tend to overcook our vegetables and, and meat. I don't know why. Is it like a thing? It's definitely a thing. Um, you'll notice that in past history, I guess in traditional cooking, um, they tend to just boil and cook and cook and cook and all the nutrition just evaporates I and know. goes away. And you are a nutritionist as well. I know that you do a lot of um, healthy food that goes out to a lot of actors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. so you know, you know what you're doing. So that's the thing. He does so many comfort food dishes on the menu and it's all guilt free. So you know that what you're eating, what's going into you uh, is you know, thought of and it's fresh and it's not overcooked and that really is the key, you know, when you're cooking, even at home. So one of the things people fail to remember is as chefs, uh, not only are we trained how to cook the food, but we also need to understand everything that goes behind it. Everything that we're putting into our bodies, it's all about the ingredients, it's all about the techniques and it's all about how we treat the food. Yeah, so you are what you eat. Exactly. Yeah. So see? Very done. So we're going to saute our chicken quickly and as it's almost cooked, we'll slowly begin to add our aromats. So first we'll add a little bit of onions. Um, why flood the dish with extra unneeded unhealthy fats, right? Yeah. Okay, a little bit of jalapenos, a little bit of chilies for some taste. Yum. Okay, a little bit of green capsicum. A little bit of red for some color. And you can already tell, you can smell the ingredients yeah. coming together, the flavors are coming out, and we're still keeping it intact, keeping all the nutrition inside. Okay, now we're gonna start to season our dish. We have a little bit of poison sauce. That's around a tablespoon. Yes, another tablespoon of oyster sauce. Okay. okay. And just a splash of soy. You can even use tamari. You can use tamari if you're trying to stay yeah. uh, completely gluten free. free. Yeah. Okay, now that everything's seasoned, you can smell it all coming out now. Yeah. We're gonna add a splash of stock just to give it a little bit of sauce and so that the chicken can fully cook. That's my lunch. <laughs> Sorted. <laughs> okay. That's chicken stock. Splash of stock. This is so simple. It's even quicker than my dishes. <laughs> it's that easy, it's that simple. So now that everything's cooked, sauce is ready, we're actually going to plate it and we'll garnish it. 
So here's just a splash of sesame oil, just for a little bit of extra flavor. And that's it. It's, we are ready. Yay! This was literally under nine minutes. <laughs> so, just of course, Kung Pao must have a little bit of nuts. Peanuts we're using today. And a little bit of sesame seeds. Yay! And then we've saved some of the scallion greens on top for a little bit more color. Yum! Okay, and you can actually have it with either brown rice, you can have it with steamed rice, you can have it with some cauliflower rice. And that's it, and we are ready to go. Now we're ready to go. Mmm! Bursting with flavors. I love you. Simple, quick, easy, and healthy. And that's what we do on the Shopa Shadi channel. Thank you so much, staying true to tradition. You saw how easy and super quick this recipe was to make. The trick is just use fresh vegetables and ingredients and don't overcook your food. You have to try this dish out and do not forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't yet, do it now. And remember, swastraho. Mastro. <laughs>